Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to another video. Just a quick one today. I'll be going over five questions from Corbett Maths from his five a day page. I uh, really recommend this uh, resource for anyone revising, especially for exams. These are really good before exams to prepare yourself on any different topics. And you might come across some questions you haven't seen before, which is also good as well to help you prepare. Um, so you can go to this page. It's called five a day uh, at CorbettMaths.com. Uh, and go, go down on this page to any of these links and pick a random one and have a go. The answers are also available. So if I just go to any random link here, uh, I might pick higher plus on say the 10th of January and uh, it comes up with five quick questions I can use to practice and help myself revise. So let's go ahead and do these five questions from five a day. Uh, if you're a year 11 student and you are preparing for your exam on the 24th in about a week's time, then uh, maybe do a couple of these a day. It might be really good preparation for you. I would recommend this as a way to prepare for exams because you're getting a mix of questions, which is what you really want before an exam. So let's go ahead and go through these five questions. Uh, so the first one says, given 2 to the power y equals 1 eighth, find y. Uh, so we know that any number to the negative exponent, let's say two to the power minus one, that will be one over that number. So two to the minus one is one over two. And I know that two to the power three, or two cubed is eight. So I can combine those two facts to say that two to the minus three must be one on eight. Uh, and so in this case, y will equal minus three. If you got this question in an exam, you wouldn't have to show any of this work and you could just I jump straight to your answer, I just use that for my explanation. The second question here says, show the equation x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals 0 can be written in the form x equals 4 minus 1 on x. Okay, so we want x by itself on the left hand side and we have divided by an x here. So the first thing I'm going to do is to get rid of all of this on the left hand side, this minus 4x plus 1 and bring it over to the right hand side. In order to do that, that minus 4x will become a plus 4x and that plus 1 will become a negative 1. So my next line of working will be x squared equals 4x minus 1. The signs there have changed because I've brought that over to the right hand side. And then I want to divide everything by x because I've got this x squared, which is like x times x. So if I, I just want 1x by itself on the left, I need to divide everything by x and uh, 4x divided by x is 4, and 1 divided by x is 1 on x. So there you have the answer here. It's, I've taken two steps to get there, and that should be fine for an exam situation. Usually just a one mark question, those ones. Question three here says, starting with x, zero, x sub 0 equals 3, use the iteration formula x sub n plus 1 equals 4 minus 1 on x sub n twice. To find an estimate of the solution of x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals 0. Okay, so usually these iterations questions are used with cubics. Usually we wouldn't use an iteration to solve a quadratic, but it might come up. It is possible, so uh, it's still good practice anyway, regardless of, its, of if it's a quadratic or a cubic anyway. Okay, so we're starting with x sub 0 equals 3. We need to substitute that 3 in where the x sub n is in this formula. Uh, so we can say that x sub 1, the next iteration, will be 4 minus 1 on 3. So I've just put that 3 in where the x is in the formula. And 4 minus a third, well that's going to be 3 and 2 thirds. And I might change that to an improper fraction. So I multiply the 3 by the 3 and add 2. So 3 times 2 is 9 plus 2 is 11 on 3. Okay, so x sub 1 is 11 on 3, and x sub 2, I need to do it twice. So I take that answer and substitute it into this form there again, and I get 4 minus 1 on 11 on 3. Okay, and also you could do this with the calculator as well, but keep in mind this could come up in, in the non-calculator exam. You never know, and you might have to do this somehow with fractions and without a calculator. So maybe practice without a calculator on occasion, is still useful. Uh, so, so 1 on 11 on 3, that's the same as if we, multi if we flip that fraction around and multiply it, 
Uh, so this can become 4 minus 3 on 11. It's the same thing as 1 over 11 on 3. And this is going to equal well, 4 minus 3 on 11. That will be 3 and 8 on 11. So that's just the difference between 11 and 8 there is 3. So we get 3 and 8 on 11. And if I change that to a mixed fraction, 3 times 11 is 33 plus 8. That's 41 on 11. So x sub 2 is 41 on 11 for my final answer. The last question gives us a triangle. And it says ABC is a triangle. M lies on BC such that BM equals 4 fifths BC. Express these vectors in terms of X and Y. Okay, so here we have the vector Y and the vector X. And it's asking us to express BC in terms of X and Y. Well, think of this as a parallelogram. That's one way to think of it. And uh, we could say that if we took the vector X out here, and to get back to C, uh, we need to take the negative of y to get back to c. So this is x and this is negative y. And we've drawn a parallelogram there to get from b to c. So we could say bc is x minus y. And uh, then we need bm in terms of x and y. Well, we're told that m is 4 fifths bc. So we could say that's 4 fifths of x minus y. Remember that BC was X minus Y, so I've just written that in terms of X minus Y, and then expand those brackets out, so we get 4 fifths X minus 4 fifths Y. And then we need AM, so A is here and M is here, in terms of X and Y. Well, I need to go from A to B first, that's Y, and then B to M, and we have BM here as a vector, so I can say that AM will be Y plus 4 fifths x minus 4 fifths y, and uh, y minus 4 fifths y, well that would be 1 fifth y, so am ends up being 4 fifths x minus, uh, sorry, plus 1 fifth y. And that's the five quick questions done. I know I've brought this resource up before, but as I'm posting this video with about a week or so to go until the exams, I thought I would bring it up again. Leave a comment letting other students know how you're preparing. Uh, maybe you want to help somebody out by leaving some tips in the comments. That would be really useful. Uh, thanks for watching. If you found this useful, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more content, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.